What's up guys? Coming at you with another FortiGate tutorial here. This one is going to be on how to use Gmail as a notification email, I guess you would say server, regarding your FortiGate. The FortiGate has the ability to do automation stitches where you can receive emails when certain things happen with your FortiGate as kind of like for notifications in case um, a wireless AP goes down or your CPU starts to get throttled, it'll send you an email. Also, there are notifications you can set for certain log settings in case certain, you know there's an intrusion detected. You can get an email regarding that. Now, there is a default email that FortiGate puts on all of the Forta, or FortiGate settings for notifications.fortinet.net. That's their email server. I find that that email server, when using that one, a lot of emails get caught in spam and it just seems to kind of be slow at times so i tried to find a way to use gmail for almost instantaneous emails and it just seems to be a lot more reliable so we're going to get into that now so i did this one in the gui so we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the system settings now in some versions of for firmware the uh the notification emails are in system advanced settings, but in 623, they're just under the regular settings. As you can see here, this is the default notification.fortinet.net. We're going to click the toggle to use custom settings. And then when using a Gmail account, you're going to type in here smtp.gmail.com. Username and password, you're going to use the username, uh, you know, your email address that you set up, the Gmail account that you want to use. For this tutorial, I use this one. And just go ahead and put the password for your Gmail account. In the default reply to field, if you want the person who receives these emails to be able to reply to somebody, you would put that name here. If not, it's just going to be a no reply. Then you're going to go to Google and you're going to search for allow third party apps for Gmail. And you're going to click this very first link at the top, less secure apps in your Google account. To allow the FortiGate to use your Gmail, you have to enable a setting that allows your Gmail to use third party apps. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to make sure you turn that less secure access on. So by default, it's always off on your Gmail. So you have to toggle it on. Now, to test this, I created an automation stitch when an admin logs in, I'm supposed to receive a notification email, so I'm testing that here. And if we go to the email that I had set up to receive that notification email, you'll see that I have a an email from fortify.notifications saying that my login was successful. Now, the Fortinet default email server that they have set up does work However, I find the Gmail method is much more reliable and the emails rarely get caught in the spam filter. So if you're not using your own email server for notifications and you don't have access to something like that, I would really recommend using Gmail because I get the emails every time and, and nothing gets caught in spam. So I would definitely check out this method if you've had, if had issues. Um, if you found this tutorial helpful, let me know in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Also, if you have a recommendation for any videos you'd like to see in the future, I'm going to be playing a lot with the Fortinet devices. Uh, it's something I do daily for my job. So if you want to see anything else regarding the hardware or the equipment, anything how to set up, please let me know. I'll try and mock it up in the lab and see if I can get video put out. As always, guys, thank you for watching. and. Have a good day.